Hello. Today we want to talk about our new version of the engine dual complex oscillator. The first big change is the new SMD format which saves us just a lot of time assembling one of these. This is the old version one with all components to solder more than 300 parts. This one is the new version 2 with all SMD pre-soldered. So you can expect more build modules of those in the future. Now what changed internally is not much on the front. The only difference Basically is the switches. Internally we replaced the sine wave shaper. So now you get very clean round sine waves. We have a new wave folding circuit. The ring mod output we changed from a XOR gate simulated ring mod like in the Korg MS20 ring mod we changed to a diode ring and a transistor. Sounds like this. Also the amplitude modulation output has a new transistor type. And of course we have a new exhaust expander module as well, which adds the new audio optimized chaos output. The new sub oscillator is a combination of minus one octave and minus two octaves. With this little sub mix knob you can blend between those two. The mix output mixes different waveforms of the oscillator with the sub volume here. The external input which is normalized from the ring mod and the amplitude modulation volume.
gate output now has a switch to switch between trigger and gate signals which gets output by the chaos signal and whenever the LEDs of the chaos are higher than the knob setting you have here it will output a gate or a trigger signal depending on the switch setting which can be used as a gate input for our ADSR for example You can also clock the engine, the chaos signal of the engine externally, and you get randomized patterns. And you can think of that knob as like a probability knob. All the way down, it will not output anything, and the more you push up, the more frequent it will create trigger signals. Now this setting is also independent from the knob of the engine. So you can still play around with this knob while your modulations here are active. And it will not affect your trigger output. 